In this video, I'm gonna make lots of little sweets that you can turn into accessories. And here's everything that's in this month's box. If you sign up, your first box is free, but I'll also be giving one away through this video. So don't forget to like and favorite and check the description box for all the details. The box comes with nine different molds and these are the first two. So I started with a waffle cone mold and now I'm just using a soft serve mold and I'm gonna make that into a charm. The best thing about these molds is that you can bake the clay while it's still in the mold so you don't mess it up trying to take it out before um, the clay is baked and hard. And here's the ice cream scoop mold that you can use to make triple or maybe quadruple scoops of ice cream on a waffle cone. Now I'm going to make a little chocolate eclair and this part is going to be kind of long because I made a bunch of pedophores so like an eclair, um, a little cake and tart. You can make a lot of different combinations using the molds so I use the small tarts um, and these that little whipped cream mold or a meringue mold, it kind of looks like meringue if you put white clay in it. And I use that a lot of different ways. You can make like a million different um, types of desserts if you just kind of mix the molds up that you use. The box also comes with 12 different polymer clay canes. So a lot of them are fruit. Almost all of them are fruit and one says happy birthday. That's probably my favorite. And all of the clay that I'm using, of course, comes in the box, but I'm just mixing um, a lot of colors with white to make them more pastel, or you can just leave them as is if you want more vibrant colors. The box has yellow ochre chalk pastels, um, which are more in a loose powder, so it's a lot easier to use. And now to the little chocolate truffles. So I'm using this little tiny cupcake wrapper, and I put black clay in it and kind of pressed it in deep with a popsicle stick or you can use a lollipop stick or a toothpick to just create those edges and details and to give depth in the center so that you can sit a little truffle in there just like this one. And now I'm back to the pedophores again. Um, I wanted to give you guys a lot of different options so you could play around with these and make um, a lot of different combinations or you could just um, get ideas to kind of branch off and make your own. These tarts are probably the easiest to make just because they require only one color and then you just slice the cane and you're pretty much done. Um, I love those and they look really great. After I baked all of these pedophores, I painted some of them with clear varnish just to make them shiny. That's optional. And here's the cupcake which I turned into 
pair of earrings, but you could also turn it into a ring or stud earrings or whatever you choose to. And now here's my favorite tart. It's the happy birthday one. I love this one so much because the cane is so small but you can still read it. It's really cute. And here they are all lined up so you can kind of pick through which ones you really like and which ones you love. And don't forget if you want to have a chance to win this box, just like and favorite this video, comment something really funny for all of us to laugh at, and don't forget to subscribe. If you're confused about the rules, just check the description box below. This gold cardstock is also in the box, so I'm just going to glue on a few pedophores to create a brooch. And once the glue dries on that, then I'm going to glue this little piece onto the actual brooch like I am right here. And also, thank you to YouTube for sending me those pins right there with the little hands. I appreciate that. And these are probably my favorite earrings. So I just made little meringue earrings with a little piece of whipped cream and then I glued it on to the earring studs. So again, these are all the contents in the box. And if you want to subscribe to Mandala and get a new craft box every month, just visit mandalaart.com. So I love you guys, I hope you love the video, and I'll see you on my next one.